Now it is for real. The tactics and squad strengths have been analysed by committed fans and neutral observers to the nth degree. A confrontation that all football lovers will revel in, knowing that we might be about to witness a simply unmissable occasion. Who will come out on top? Stay with us on EA TV. in West London. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Fulham taking on Manchester United. Well thanks Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles outrun your opponent eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Now, what can they do from here? Takes it! And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Bruno Fernandes plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the lead striker today is Anthony Martial. Could cross it in here. Rashford. Can he put them in front? Couldn't grab hold of it. And a goal! Well, it looks easy when you can put them away like that. So, underway again here. 1-0 the score. OK, with news of a goal in the Luton game, it's over to Alex Scott. Alex. Yeah, it's a goal for Luton Town. They've scored the opener with 15 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. That's a nice looking ball. Spot on with that tackle. United finding space on the wing. Bruno Fernandes. Can he put it in? Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Now sending it in. The clearance wasn't decisive. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Sasha Lukic. And on the ball, Kearney. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Anthony Martial. Effective from Ericsson. Shaw. And crossing towards the far post. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, let's just see again how Shaw delivered this cross into such a good area. And Sancho made the finish look easy, as he so often does. It's a lovely goal. So the ball rolling again at 2 0. Bobby Reid. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Here's Luke Shaw. Christian Eriksen now. Is it going to be Christian Eriksen? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Flag raised for offside. And United have it back. And he has options available. Rashford! A goal here! Giving his team 
precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And Rashford's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. It will be. Takes the shot. And Bahan foiling them. Martial. Christian Eriksen now. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Sancho. Can they convert? And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. And with that, the first half comes to an end here at Craven Cottage. So the ball moving again. United having already made a big first half statement. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. And defensive play to be applauded. Well, there's no getting away from it. He has been the subject of transfer speculation. Stuart, interested to know your thoughts on the matter. Yes, this has been going on for some time now, so no great surprise, really. Hopefully, we'll know more in the next few days. And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. Anthony Martial... It will be now. This is looking threatening. It will be. Played in low. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. And hit with ferocity. It was close, but not quite good enough. Number 10, Tom Kearney, to be replaced by... And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Substitution for form. Coming off the pitch. Number seven, Raul Jimenez. To be replaced by number 30, Vinicius. Casemiro. Promising possession, this. And drawing it back. And a goal this time. Applying the finishing touch. Just what the doctor ordered. Well, let's look at this again. He's done superbly well to pick out a teammate here. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. Sasha Lukic. We've had a pair of keys handed into reception. Well, Fulham have the ball back now. If you've lost your keys. A change to the scoreline at the Etihad, I believe. Alex Scott. It's a third goal for Manchester City. It was a nice one-two, and then he coolly slotted it around the goalkeeper. They've pulled ahead by three with 69 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Chance to finish. What a block. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Fulham facing Aston Villa. And what a game that will be. Two good teams oh, in a great... Oh, Stewart's a chance. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. 
Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Casemiro. Diogo Dallo. Bruno Fernandes. Genuine chance. And able to close down the shot. Manchester United recovering possession well. He's in control of the situation. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Over it comes. There it is! A fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Bobby Reid. What a goal to let you know about in the City game. Alex Scott has the information for us. It's a goal for Bournemouth. They're now behind by one with 88 minutes on the clock. Thanks for the update, Alex. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. And he's in. And you've just witnessed... Absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. It's a short corner. And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance, all told? Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And once again, they delivered. For me, they're always looking for the most dangerous pass, which is a great example to teams that keep possession for the sake of it. I think they're a joy to watch at the moment.